What's going on you guys? This is Eric back at you with another DIY video. And this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your mass airflow sensor on a 2003 Kia Sorento. These are some of the basic tools that you're going to be needing. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a ratchet, and some sockets. First thing you're going to want to do is disconnect your battery. And the reason you're disconnecting your battery is because the mass airflow sensor is very delicate. So you don't want to short anything now. So just go ahead and be safe and disconnect the negative terminal. Once you disconnect your battery, go ahead and look for your mass airflow sensor. So on most cars, usually the mass airflow sensor is after your airbox. So just go ahead and follow your airbox and you can see right here that we have the mass airflow sensor on this side. To clean your mass airflow sensor, you need to remove some parts first. So what you need to do is remove your airbox and remove this ducting that goes to the intake. Now you don't need to remove everything, but you do need to loosen up this clamp right here. Once you loosen up your clamp, go ahead and disconnect your mass airflow sensor. Make sure that your battery is disconnected, because if you do this with the battery connected, it can short out the mass airflow sensor, and that is expensive. After you disconnect your mass airflow sensor, go ahead and go around the airbox, and usually most airbox have these types of clips around it. So just go ahead and unclip those. All you need to do to remove the airbox is to pry it up. So go ahead and just pry off from one side. Since we disconnected the ducking right here on this side, we we're able to remove the airbox without any struggling. We have our airbox off. We can take a closer look at the mass airflow sensor. What happens over time is that these little pins right here get clogged up with dirt and they're not reading the amount of air correctly which can cause the engine to start kind of rough or take a long time to start. So what you're going to want to do to fix this and remedy it is to clean them. Now you can't just clean these sensors with any cleaner. To clean this, what I'm going to be using is some mass airflow sensor. And you can get this at your local auto stores or you can actually even find this at Walmart for cheaper. And you don't want to spray too much of this stuff because it's a delicate sensor. So just spray as much as you need to. After you spray your mass airflow sensor, go ahead and put your mass airflow sensor aside and you're just going to do this so that it can have some time to dry off. In the meantime, what you can do though is go ahead and clean out your airbox filter or you can actually even replace it. This will be a good time since you're already here. The install is pretty much the same as the uninstall. So all you need to do is pretty much just get your housing, go ahead and place it where the grooves are on the airbox. Go ahead and move your ducking so that the hole can fit in there. Go ahead and sneak it in there and then go ahead and place your air box. It should just line up in place just like that. Go ahead and push it in and make sure that all the tabs can easily go around the air box. Go ahead and connect your mass airflow sensor. Go ahead and tighten down your clamp. But not least, go ahead and connect your battery. So this is pretty much going to conclude the end of this video. If you guys have any questions regarding this DIY project, go ahead and leave them down below. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And like always, thanks for watching.